Right now, we are in the final uh, phase of uh, the production of Thor 7. It's an exciting time for the people involved with the Thor 7 project. The satellite is almost done and in the second half of 2014, Telenor Satellite Broadcasting will launch the satellite from French Guiana spaceport. Thor 7 is going to be used for broadcasting services as well as data comms. So, in other words, we can grow our business both on the broadcasting side as well as with the high speed uh, data communication. And, and the data communication is mainly for maritime users. But that's not all that Thor 7 will be used for. A beam is set for a brand new territory. <laughs> we do actually have a beam uh, aimed for the South Pole. So uh, yes, there will be coverage even down in that area. The project has been going on for four years now and the people working on the project are scattered around the world. And as program director, there is a lot to handle. Uh, you know, our satellite manufacturer is based in California. So it's uh, quite challenging to have, uh, you know, people in different locations and especially when you have the time difference. Online meetings late in the afternoon, Fornibu time and early in the morning, California time has become the solution. Satellite has got two employees who moved to California three years ago to monitor the project on site. One of them is Frode Moln. I have to reward my colleagues in Fornibu for being willing to stay late at work many, many times to, to be able to talk to us so that we don't have to get up at five in the morning. It's, uh, it's really coming to the end of the program. Uh, we have recently finished the thermal vacuum testing where we put the satellite into this big uh, chamber and, and simulate space flight conditions. Uh, and now the last test that we did uh, was uh, on the after the dynamic space where we sort of shake the satellite to make sure that it stays intact in the launch environment and we do a test of the entire payload afterwards. So we've done that and we have one major test left on the payload side, which is what I'm working on. Uh, and, and right now they're also doing one final test on the bus assemblies uh, that my colleague is working on. Peter Elliott is also working on site and he feels that it's been an exciting time in sunny California. It's, it's something different from what I've done before. I've worked in other satellite projects, but always from the back office, from the home office rather than being on site. So. This is a new experience, um, actually being on the site when they're building the satellite, get building from the smallest uh, component right up to uh, you know, the, the satellite as it looks now, which is uh, almost complete. So, yes, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a different, asp a different uh, aspect, and, uh, but, but pretty exciting to work on that sort of project. What the people on the Thor 7 project are looking most forward to this year shouldn't come as a surprise, but we'll let them say it anyway. Uh, once we finally get to launch and actually... Uh, Operated the spacecraft in, in orbit. Uh, the launch, obviously, <laughs> it's, uh, it's been a long time coming. I will definitely be there. 